Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to convert Game Boy Advance ROMs into a Virtual Console CI files and then install them on your 3DS. So this works on any 3DS that has custom firmware. On mine, I've got Luma custom firmware and FBI installed. That is all you need. So what you guys want to do is just go ahead and turn off your DS. Then remove your SD card, connect it to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to the latest Ultimate GBA Virtual Console Injector for 3DS in the description of this video, and it's actually on GBA Temp, so all you guys want to do is scroll down. There is a complete tutorial right here if you want to look at it in pictures, but I will be showing you how to do it anyway. So we're going to scroll down until we get to download links, click on show, and choose the latest version, which is hosted on Mega. So we're just going to click on Mega, and it's going to open like this. All you want to do is just click on download, and it will begin downloading the zip file for us. Once it's downloaded, go to your computer's downloads folder and you will find it in there. Double click on the zip file and then just double click on the ultimate uh, GBA VC injector um, .exe. So it should open exactly like this. Now there's just one thing you will need. You will need an official Game Boy Advance ROM. These can be backed up off your official cartridges. If you'd like to see a video on that, I will leave one in the description. But once you have your Game Boy Advance ROM, it should be in the GBA format. We will need to find an icon to go with this game. So what I'm going to do is just right click the um, ROM, go to rename, and I'm just going to select the whole name. Then right click, go to copy. Now you want to go back onto your internet browser and just go over to Google Images. Okay, so over on Google Images, we want to right click and paste the name in and we're just gonna choose GBA because we need to find the box icon for our game. So you should be able to find them very easily. I think there's a couple on here. Um, there's obviously ones for pretty much every game. Obviously the Pokemon ones are a lot easier to find. I just chose this random game. So I'm going to get this image right here. So I'm going to right click, save image as, and just save this as anything in my downloads. It can be a JPEG, PNG, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna click on save. So once we have got our image sorted out, we can now open up the virtual console injector again. And what we want to do is actually just click on open GBA file. Now just select our game and click on open. It's going to automatically find the ROM size and the save type, so that is fine, and we can now click next step. Here we want to open our icon. You can also change the long name, the short name, and the game publisher. I'm just going to leave it how it is. But we're going to click on load icon anyway, select the image we just downloaded, and I'll just click on open. You can also click it here, download and set box art as icon, and it should find it for you. And you can also click on download and set title screen as icon. So you can use title screen or box art. I always go with that. We're now just going to click on next step for the 3D banner. So here we can customize what we want the 3D banner to look like. The first thing you can do is just click on change frame color. This is where you can change the frame to whatever color you want. I'm just going to choose this kind of blue. You can also change the banner text and the brightness and the fonts. You can make it like black or like really white. It's entirely up to you. Uh, you can also change it to any kind of custom font here. It doesn't really matter what you choose. You can literally put anything on there. And now we're just going to click on next step. Okay, so that is pretty much it. If you don't want ghosting, make sure you leave on this one. I'm going to, then it just looks the best. You don't really have to do anything else here. There's a few patches. Uh, this is like ROM hack patches. Maybe I'll make another video on that. But that is literally it if you just want a basic game. So we are just going to click on finish. We're then going to get the chance to save our game as a CIA file in our downloads folder. We're going to click on save. It's then going to load. And it says, would you like to open? Just click on no. Now we can just click the cross on the program and we have our game converted into CIA format so we can install it using FBI and then play it. So what we're going to do, get the ROM, right click, copy, go onto our 3DS's SD card. I'm going to put mine in the CIA's folder and I'm just going to do right click and paste. So very simple, now we can disconnect our 3DS's SD card from our PC, put it back into our 3DS and I will show you guys what to do next. Right, so back off your computer, make sure you put your SD card back in, and then we're just going to hold the power button just to turn on the console. 
From here, we can go and install the game. So what you guys want to do is open up FBI. Now what we're going to do is press A on SD, find where you put your game. I put mine in the CIA's folder, so I'm going to press A on that. Now we just need to find it in here. Here is mine, Ed, Ed and Eddie, the Miss Adventures. So what we're going to do, we're going to press A on it. We're then going to choose install and delete CIA. This will remove the CIA from your SD card, or you can just do a normal install and keep it. I'm going to delete it because I won't need it after installing it. Then just press A for yes. And then just give it a couple of seconds to install. And then just tap OK. And now we can press B to go all the way back to the main menu and press start to exit. So now the game should be added to our home screen. As you can see, new software has been added. We're going to tap OK and we're going to unwrap it. So here it is guys, my Ed, Ed and Eddie game. And we're just going to press A on open and let's just test out the gameplay. So the game should now be working, we can select English and we can go ahead and play. So the games work perfectly fine, no lag, no ghosting, um, the audio works perfectly fine as well. It's basically just like you would play an actual Game Boy Advance cartridge on your 3DS, obviously you can't actually plug them in, but it's pretty much just like an actual cartridge. And this is a lot better than emulation. Uh, because it's not actually, um, you're not going to get any lag or anything like that. If you are to emulate Game Boy Advance games on the original Nintendo DS, like this one, you would actually notice quite a bit of lag. As you can see, this one's perfectly fine, perfectly fine sound as well, with no real issues. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Obviously when you're done playing, you can just press the home button and simply close out of it. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.